So we're on a recruitment drive. So remember, first thing out of your mouth is, do you have a mic? Do you like stealth jobs? Can you follow instructions? All right. Uh, hold on. Yeah, and Roadbreaker's going to be the guy sending the messages there, too. Okay. I I don't, I'm recording right now. I record the recruitment drives. Sometimes funny yeah. stuff happens. There was this one time with myself and Jose, we were doing this recruitment drive, and this kid dropped in. He had a younger voice, so he sounded like a kid. So, and he took forever to answer everything. So I was like, hey, man, you got a mic? He was like, uh... Oh, Birdman. Okay. Holy crap. 420? Oh, no, sorry, dude. Not if you got 420 in your name. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't want you. We don't want you high during the hike. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't really care if somebody smokes pot, but if it's their personality, no. If, yeah. if marijuana defines who you are, and you've got like 420 or Kush or Blazing in your name, no, you gotta go. Yeah. I've played with a whole bunch of those guys, and they are weird, man. Like the burnouts. I remember I was doing this one stealth job with a guy early on, and he was watching every every civilian. He's like, oh, he was ready to panic at every minute. I was always like, oh, guys, I see a civilian here. He's walking by. Oh, what I should do, man? So he's like uh, the tweak of uh, Payday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend like that. <laughs> like the guy, I just actually just had a booty. You know, I have a lot of young friends on here. I play with a lot of older friends. I have a variation. I he was in there. He's doing uh, fire starter. He couldn't. He didn't believe me that I can actually completely stealth the airport, which I've done it multiple times. That's hard, man. Stealth the airport. Yeah, stealth man, the airport. Got. got to. If you got a mic, man, Road Breaker, can you send this guy a message? Ask him if he he's got a mic. Oh man, uh, that day is hard to stealth. I, I want to get it recorded someday. I mean, uh, now I got a couple guys who've done it before. Well, he's I'll gone. Do that. Yeah, I stealthed that one. I made him stay back in the truck, and you know, because he, he said he he pretty much told me there's no effing way you can do it. It can't be done. I proved him wrong. I walked up to about 20 body bags and here. Here's a stealth to go down and get your stuff. <laughs> Tiago21, do you have a mic? Can you send him a message, Roadbreaker, asking him if he has a microphone? Yeah, I'm gone. That is... That is an ugly mask, dude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have I mean, said we could it, go. that's not a good introduction. We can go hey, about it this way. Are you? Your mask is ugly. There we go. <laughs> a lot of people like to put uh, the skull on that one. There's a certain skull pattern that they put yeah. on the uh, Commander Crime mask. That Commander Crime mask, oh man, it's, it's exactly like what Co Cobra Commander used to wear in the uh, early G.I. Joe. Man, that, that show, in the early seasons, that show was bizarre, man. It's pretty awesome, though. Damn. Let me see what else. Yeah, Jose and myself, this was the first time that I was thinking, man, we gotta record this stuff. But there was a dude who came in, sounded like a young kid, and every, you know, said, hey, man, you got a mic? Yeah. Like, Yeah. <laughs> Do you like doing stealth jobs? He's like, uh. Doesn't have a mic. Uh, yeah. Can you follow instructions? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Bam, he's going like that. It's like you gotta think about it. It's like a simple question. <laughs> I know. Right. We, I mean, Jose, <laughs> that time was so funny. Jose keeps wishing that guy would show up and do the same thing again. But, uh, Diago does not have a mic. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. We require a microphone in order to orchestrate our stealth jobs. Thank you for showing up, and we hope you have a good day. <laughs> you are so polite about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I tried to show that. Here's the boot. If I actually fire somebody, it's, it's going to be. I'm going to make him sound as awesome as possible, right? Yeah. So it's going to be like, well, you know what? When I look at you, you are a soaring eagle. You can't have anything <laughs> slowing you down or holding you back. You need to have the absolute freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's not that you're you're a bad player or anything, or that we're not good players. It's just that we just don't fit. So when you get out there, you need to be having that freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want. So when that moment of inspiration strikes, you can capture it like lightning in a bottle. So I want you to get out there. <laughs> get out there and fly! And that's what I would kick them. <laughs> and then there's like all sorts of variations, right? You know, instead of an eagle, it's like, sometimes it's just not fair. Not fair to cage up the kind of bird that you are. Your feathers are just too bright. And right now, <laughs> I'm ripping off the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> oh, Back somebody else. 77, do you have a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> you insulted me by asking me that. <laughs> High level guys want a microphone. Pro job. No armor. Well, see you later. <laughs> Oh, the guy I want that, uh... you to know, I'm giving you these couple of big gulps as a parting gift. Well, see you later. Fine, Dave. Oh, man, he's got a luchador bear and so do I. This guy has to have a microphone. Divine Gaming Dash, do you have a mic? Yes, I do. Awesome. Oh, nice. Do you like doing stealth jobs? Yeah. Do you, can you follow instructions? Uh, I'll be a bitch. <laughs> well, you're the new guy. Guess what? I got a lucha bear. I got a max bear too. So there we go. We got something in common. Really?